are. Uh, so I'd like to introduce uh, Guy Rosen, who is the CEO of Vercado and the author of the Jack of All Clouds blog. Guy. Thanks, Alistair. Hey, everyone. Morning. So today I've really come to kind of talk to you in the next 10 minutes about some really juicy numbers about cloud computing. Um, because, you know, this all really starts. Can I go back a slide? This all really starts because um, as, a, as a startup, you can tend to get asked these really weird questions like, what is the size of your, uh, what is the size of your market? Or uh, how many people are using this cloud thing anyway? And it turns out that for the cloud, there are no hard numbers. And so I really set out to try and kind of find some of these things, to try and dig up some cool numbers. Let's see what I found. Now, as you may have noticed, this is a tank. Uh, I'm really showing you a tank. This is the right conference. The reason I'm showing you this is because apparently back in World War II, the Allies were asking themselves a question about this tank, it's the German Panther tank, uh, that's kind of similar to the question that we're asking today about the cloud. They really wanted to know how many of these tanks the Germans were producing. Now, traditional intelligence guessed the number to be 1,400 a month. But the interesting thing is that a bunch of really smart mathematicians um, tried another approach. They realized that each one of these tanks had a serial number painted on it. And you know, they reasoned, they assumed that the Germans, being German, would be logical about this. <laughs> and, and would number these tanks sequentially in the order in which they were produced. Now, based on this assumption, this is pretty cool, and using the serial numbers of tanks which had been captured, they were actually able to calculate statistically the, number of, uh, the rate of production of these tanks. Now, their number was 256. So traditional intelligence, 1,400. Mathematicians, 256. Anybody know what the real number was? 255. Germans kept great records. Germans. <laughs> so that, that's incredible. I love this. True story. Um, it's called the German tank problem, officially. Now, back, back to our century, I realized something kind of similar about the cloud, which is that every time you fire up a VM, you get an ID number, a serial number. And I also kind of assumed that cloud engineers, being engineers, would be logical about this and would number these sequentially. Now, it very quickly turned out that for two of the providers I was looking at, uh, Rackspace and GoGrid, this was indeed the case. But when I came to look at Amazon, this is what I found. Th that doesn't look sequential to me. It looks like a bunch of meaningless garbage. And <laughs> I'd almost given up on this, like, okay, dude, forget about the stupid mission to find numbers. But um, it was really just kind of a chance discovery that led me on uh, an accidental kind of clue, led me on a path that basically involved uh, a week of doing a lot of this and thinking I was doing a lot of this until I reached a formula. Not this formula, <laughs> this formula. Now, we have little time, so I won't be going into this formula itself, but I will say this. What this lets us do is take one of those meaningless Amazon numbers, like C4F615AD, and turn it into a very nice number, like 415,149. And that is indeed a sequential serial number. So that means we can start having some fun measuring the clouds. So let's see what we can do. So um, first question I asked, how many servers are being spun up in the cloud every day? This is what I found. Amazon, 83,000. This is across all three regions. Rackspace, 488. GoGrid, 181. Uh, pretty nice numbers. I, lo I love this. Um, this, by the way, represents the number of servers that are being started. We don't actually know how many of them are shut down, so we don't know how many of them are actually up at any given time. But this does reflect very nicely on, on the level of activity, I think. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, these numbers were calculated, measured over a short period of time, a few months ago, and uh, great guys at RightScale, probably here somewhere, uh, 
stepped up and actually applied the same Amazon formula to three years of data. It actually helped me fine-tune some details there. Um, this is what they found. This is for Amazon, what we're seeing here. The number of serv servers launched per day over three years. So uh, this is quite amazing because you can see how once upon a time, back in like 2006, people were launching only a few hundred, a few thousand servers per day on Amazon. And it just grows beautifully, I love this, until 40, 50,000 back in September. This is when these uh, numbers were collected. So that's for Amazon. Um, what else can we ask? Final one, last question then. Uh, how many servers have been started ever uh, on the clouds that we're looking at? These are the numbers. Impressive, I think. Amazon, 23 million servers started all time, ever. Uh, Rackspace, 166,000. GoGrid, 75,000. Now, I'm probably getting myself into trouble with the guys at Rackspace and GoGrid for daring to show this, that they're sponsors here. Uh, I don't think Amazon are. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, but these are the numbers. I, I really love these numbers. And, and you know, what, can we, uh, what can we learn from these numbers? I think, first of all, I, I for one, was, was really blown away first time I, thought I saw these. Um, they're big. Something big is definitely going on there. But one of the interesting things that I think we can find here is the differences that we're seeing here between these numbers. They don't only represent the sheer sizes, they also represent different kinds of workloads, which people are moving into different kinds of clouds. Right? Dynamic workloads are bound to generate many, many, many more servers. Right? Where are you going to be firing up thousands of servers? and then shutting them down again, probably on Amazon, MapReduce. Um, if you have something that's a lot more static, a lot more stable in its demand, then the numbers will obviously be lower. So these numbers may not reflect the sheer, uh, uh, the actual differences in the servers, but they definitely tell a story about the numbers, the sizes, and different kinds of workloads. So those are the numbers I wanted to show you guys. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, Feel free, feel free to come up and ask me or tweet me. Thanks very much.